Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Today we are going to focus on how to extract facial area from an image with Google Empowered Media Pipe Library. But before we begin, please like the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and please click the bell icon to keep up to date with the latest videos. In the past, we did this experiment with daily library. But as you can see the result of the Dilip library, MediaPipe can do this much more sensitively. Face extraction can be used in facial recognition pipelines to fit more clear inputs to facial recognition models. Besides, this is very common in deepface lab and deepfake applications nowadays. Face swapping is based on this functionality mainly. We are going to need the OpenCV library and also MediaPipe library uh, basically and once those dependencies uh, are imported let's read a sample image opencv.imrit and I'm going to use uh, this image in my desktop. I'm also going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt to plot images plt.imshow image. As you might remember, OpenCV reads an image in the inverse direction of the RGB. That's why this uh, plots the image in the blue uh, pixels. We can handle this issue with this argument. This is my base image and I'm going to extract the facial area of that image in this experiment. We are going to use media pipes, solutions and face mesh module uh, to uh, find the facial landmarks of a facial image. And I'm going to store this in the media pipe face mesh variable. Thereafter, made a pipe face mesh variable uh, it has face mesh and here I'm going to set static image mode to true and this is going to be face mesh thereafter face mesh has process function and here I'm going to pass the my input image in the RGB and this is going to store my results. Now, uh, media pipe found facial landmarks and I can get the landmark points with results that multi face landmarks. This is going to return a list and actually there is just one face in my image. That's why I can get its uh, zero index value and this is going to be the landmarks of the uh, this face. We can print the landmark points. As you can see, uh, each landmark uh, has x, y, and z coordinate. But we are going to use uh, two dimensional space, that's why we are going to ignore the z dimension. But Media Pipe found uh, 469 landmarks for all around the face, but we just need the facial area. That's why we are going to discard some of them. Here, a uh, media pipe face mesh uh, object stores predefined uh, points, predefined coordinates of a uh, face oval. Media pipe face mesh dot here face mesh underscore face oval. This is going to be my face oval. And uh, let's see content of that. These are the uh, predefined coordinates in those landmarks uh, uh, for the face oval. I'm going to store those predefined coordinates in pandas. That's why I'm going to import pandas library first. Thereafter, uh, data frame is going to be pandas .data frame. And here I'm going to pass this face oval coordinates as points and 
columns are going to be point one and point two. Let's uh, print the first five uh, rows of the data frame, and these are the points. For example, landmark 176 is connected to 149, uh, and there are Thirty six facial landmark points uh, coming from media pipe. As I mentioned, uh, landmark point one hundred seventy six is connected to uh, landmark point one hundred forty nine, but uh, this is also going to uh, some point. That's why I need to sort the these landmark points from source point to target point. Also, notice that uh, this point uh, one. 176 uh, has x and y coordinates in this landmarks object i'm going to find those coordinates uh, later now i'm going to sort the points that's why i'm going to have a roots index uh, list variable and its initial value is uh, going to be a empty list and as a first point i'm going to get the first line of the data frame uh, get at p1 value similarly i'm going to assign uh, this 149 value to p2 here as you can see uh, first line values are assigned to p1 and p2 initially I'm going to build a for loop for i in range from 0 to length of the data frame. I'm going to look for the line uh, whose p1 value is 142. That's why I'm going to create an object and filter data frame whose P1 value is equal to P2. Thereafter, I'm going to switch the P1 and P2 values. Get objects, P1 value. That's going to return a numpy array. And these are going to be my uh, new p1 and p2 values here i'm going to create a current uh, root just going to be an empty list again and i'm going to append p1 and p2 values into this and finally i'm going to store the current root value into roots indexes let's print roots indexes but let's print just first uh, five values i can create a for loop here for root idx in thereafter let's uh, create a sentence draw a line from Uh, first index landmark uh, point two one index landmark value point sorry firstly I'm going to connect uh, this 149 to 150 thereafter I'm going to connect 150 to 136 as you can see, uh, the target point is going to be the uh, source point in the next line. I can actually draw all lines. And uh, my beginning point is going to be the uh, last target point in the last line. I have the index values 
in the landmark object but i actually need the exact coordinates from a landmarks object that's why i'm going to create another loop for source id and target id in roots index get the exact coordinate from landmarks i need to call landmarks dot landmark and here i'm going to pass the index value i'm going to pass the source index and this is going to be my source similarly i'm going to apply this for the target after let's uh check the values in the landmarks these values are uh, between 0 and 1 so they are normalized so i have to uh, denormalize them uh, to get the exact values because my image uh, size is not uh, normalized so i'm going to get the exact uh, coordinate values from those normalized values so i'm going to find the relative source value source.x get its x value times uh, get image uh, one index value uh, because x is the horizontal line thereafter i need to find its integer value similarly i need to do the same thing for the y coordinate source dot y times image dot shape get its zero index value because y coordinate is coming from the vertical line and uh, it's mentioned in the first argument in the image shape and uh, i'm going to have a tuple for relative source after I'm going to do the same uh, approach for the target if I initialize a relative uh, root here I'm going to append relative source and relative target and to do source list If we print the first five items of the roots object, then I'm going to see the exact coordinates in the image. So this is going to be my first point, x and y coordinate. Thereafter, this is, this point is going to connect to the second point, and this is the x and y coordinate. Everything is ready. Now I can uh, plot the uh, image. Uh, what extracted face but i'm going to need numpy dependency also i'm going to create a mask object and it's going to be all zeros uh, with the original image size image dot shape get its zero index value and get its one index value thereafter mask is going to be open cv dot felt convex poly and it expects mask as input also and i'm going to pass a numpy array with roots and additionally uh, argument uh, one now i'm going to set the data type to boolean mask dot as type and this is going to be boolean and my output object is going to be numpy zeros like image and finally i'm going to overwrite the facial uh, image area we can plot the out object here plt dot show As you might remember 
we should use uh, this argument uh, to uh, transform it to RGB. And as you can see, facial area uh, is extracted from the original image. So in this video, we have mentioned how to extract facial area uh, from an image uh, with Google Empowered Media Pipe Library. Uh, this is very common in facial recognition pipelines to feed more clear inputs. Uh, also, this is common in uh, deepfake applications uh, to face swap. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.